Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a spirit message for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Alright, and while we're talking about the description, you'll find a bunch of other things there, like my website, my Etsy shop, which you definitely should buy something there, Aquarius, just saying. Uh, different social media platforms of odd, even Twitch and Patreon. Twitch, we're going to be on every Sunday, so definitely check that out. And, you know, if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate your donations here. Now, Aquarius, getting into your reading on the bottom of the deck for overall what's happening currently. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Look at you. You are in your independent mode. You're kind of like, I don't need anybody. I'm doing my own thing. It's kind of like a lighter, carefree energy as well. All right? You're feeling a lot lighter. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Which is Earth. Six of Pentacles. We have this card, which is kind of like the Death card, which is Scorpio. We have the Two of Wands. Yeah, Aquarius, you've emerged here. You've had a rebirth into your own power, into the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Things are going to be happening at the right time for you, so don't worry. Keep working upward here, the Queen of Pentacles. You're going to get what you desire. You're going to get like the lifestyle you desire. It's going to happen at the right time. But keep working upwards until then. Also, see if you sell things. People are going to be interested in what you're selling. You also can see like decorating a home or something for wands. On the bottom of the deck of what's coming towards you, we have Justice, which is Libra. All right, Aquarius. So really just focus on your goals. All right, you're going to get everything you desire. It can also be a Libra coming towards you, someone with Libra placement. You have the Eight of Cups. Three of Cups. Five of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Swords. I see you being really abundant, and I see you proving like a lot of people wrong, like a lot of people that um, didn't really kind of support what you did. They kind of just like it didn't really support you here. I see you having memories of this. Like I achieved this when all these people said I wasn't going to. I see that being a thing for you here. Messages and advice for you. We have number 18, blessings from the son of Hanapacha. So yeah, you are having blessings coming in. Aquarius. Number 6, medicine of the butterfly. Kachina, this is talking about a new phase that you're going on into. Can it be a healing phase as well? But you're going on to a new phase. The butterfly. Okay. Butterfly. That death card this new phase that you're on into talking about blessings coming in Aquarius stand in the light with number 16 this is telling you to stand in your light here Aquarius as a light worker number 22 with Azrael the angel of emotional expression number six with Uriel so number six is quite important to you 22 and sixes okay because we have six six sixteen but this is the angel of salvation. So these two angels can be with you throughout December. Yeah, December here. We have spirit guide. Number 39, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Number 22, once again, you see, home. Number 35, the lapis lazuli star, starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. So Aquarius, you are being guided by Archangel Gabriel and all these other angels as your spirit guides towards your higher purpose here. All right, towards what makes you feel at home, which I feel like as a light worker, there's something here, right? And once again, home. So it can be like decorating home, fixing up a home, or getting a new home. Extra cards for you. We have number 40 with the Yin Empress, and number 3, the Blossoms of the Sky Dancer. So we're going to have a look at these two cards, Aquarius. Two of them fell out for you. Kuan Yin dances creative energy and light across the sky. 
causing blossoms to descend in the same way when we tap into our spiritual power of creation, we cause all life cause our life and all life around us to bloom. Creation is a natural spiritual power within you, beloved. Force can slow down the process. It is time to stop striving and to allow your manifestation to occur. Trust, let go, and allow your creation to flow. Look at this. All right. Aquarius. Stop trying to force things. And just kind of let it happen. You need to create something here. All right. It's something spiritual. It is in alignment here. The Yin Empress brings peace, prosperity, and success to her beloved devotees. Your sole purpose includes healing and empowerment of the Divine Feminine, the Yin Empress herself. You gain power, assistance, and untold blessings in your soul and following your sole purpose. You're lifted and supported in your sacred work. Now, yeah, Aquarius, that is what we're talking about here, is you are going to have so much blessings coming in when you follow your sacred purpose, when you follow your higher purpose, which I feel like it's, it's creating something spiritual here. Okay, I, I'm talking about, you know, doing spiritual work on YouTube or whatever, but I'm talking about, like, creating a product. So that could be, like, tarot, that could be shirts, you know, something like that, where you're being guided to do that here. Okay? And you have blessings coming in when you do that. And once again, we're talking about healing, so that's going to be healing a lot of people here. Okay? So, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. And if you want to see more content... Don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.